welcome back to another Cut Up Off with Chris. It has been a while and I have had a few drinks today so this might be an absolute mess. Um, if this video makes it online it's most likely that I survived the loss of blood through alcohol. Anyway, I've got a pretty large gin on the rocks. This is, what one is this? It's called 1829. It's made by Old Youngs in Western Australia from a sort of artisan or a small batch distillery over here in Western Australia. Beautiful gin. However, the vodka is much better. They make a Pavlova vodka, which has, out of the last, three out of the last four years, taken out the best vodka pretty much in the world from the American Distilleries Award. Out of 1,200 different companies, it took out top spot three times out of four years. I think that's pretty impressive, and it is fantastic. It tastes like a Pavlova. It's got the lime, it's got the lime, the passion fruit, it's got some, I think it's got strawberry in there as well, kiwi, and then it's got burnt sugar and vanilla, and it is honestly off the charts. I just have it on ice. In fact, it's so good that I bought a Norlan, or sorry, my wife bought me a Norlan whiskey glass. So, yes, I am, I think this is my fourth drink so far today. Big shots, none of this double crap, like quintuplets shots, you know. Right, this is going to be a shave using a new razor and, well, not a new razor, I've had it for about, I think I've had it for about a week and a half. Now, I've used this every day every shave pretty much for work and whenever I've been off work it's a, a hit and a miss for me this razor but we'll talk about it later anyway my number one soap for 2020 this is part of the part of this shave as well I'm going to go through a couple of things that I think were exceptional for 2020 one thing that really surprised me and a couple of things that didn't really but anyway soap base goes to this stuff Ariana and Evans Kaizen base now the scent on this is sort of fruity, tropical, but it smells pretty much like uh, paracetamol fluid for kids, you know, I think it was, well it used to be called, oh god I can't remember, it was like cowpaw sort of thing in the UK, but it's like a fruity sort of medicinal type scent. The scent isn't the winner for me on this, the winner for me on this is the base, the Kaizen base made by Peter Charcalis from Ariana and Evans. The labels are great, I think they're fantastic, and look, it's, it's a great performing product. Just the scent. The scent's nice, I enjoy it, but it does have a medicinal sort of thing for me, to, to my mind anyway. I'm going to go through these products first that, I, uh, that I've, I've picked out for 2020. There's not a lot. I've sort of been very, very specific and pedantic about it. I don't have a lot left in the day and I've got rid of a lot of brushes, a lot of razors, a lot of things. And I've sort of really brought it, other than soaps and sort of software, I've brought my den down, quite a, I call it a den, but my shaving stuff down to a bare minimum sort of thing. Razor blade. Now this is something I don't think a lot of people talk about. These came into my house. Oh God, what's the name of the company? That's terrible. I can't remember the name of the company, but they did a razor similar to the Rex Ambassador, made out of brass. I never did a video on it because there was faults with it that I figured out before I used it. I wasn't happy to use it on camera until they figured the faults out. If they don't figure the faults out, then I will do a video basically saying this is what the razor is, what it does, and why it's not worth buying. But at the moment, it looks like they're fixing it, but they sent me these blades, Willie's Premium Double Edge Blades, 50 plus 5, 3, and it's a saloon pack, 5 tucks of blades in here, so there's 55 blades in here. Now, these are very sharp, they're very smooth, I get probably 4 to 7 shaves out of a blade, and they're excellent, I can't really say much more about it, the only downside to these really, is that it's orange, I mean, the, the name's brilliant, love it, Willie's. Who doesn't love a willy if you're a woman? Or if, I suppose if you're a lesbian woman you don't love a willy, I suppose. But willy's blades, I prefer them in like a sky blue or a green or something. But orange, I'm not a fan of orange. They, for me, are one of my favourite blades now. And I think they're pretty cheap. So if you want to try them out, head on over to the place that sells them, which I can't remember. I will try and do links, but I am a bit pissed. I'll probably put this video up while I say pissed. It should be pished. Pished is Scottish for drunk. Pished, not pished, as people think it sounds. Pished, P-I-S-H-E-D, pished. Right, so my soap's done. My razor blades are done. Oh, soap in terms of soap base. My overall winner for 2020 was the first moment I smelled it, the first moment I used it, everything about it. This took out top spot in 2020 by a long shot, more so than Ariana and Evans Kaizen base because that was mainly the base that won over for me. The base on this soap, 
is fantastic. The splash is excellent. But the scent, I don't know what it is about this scent. It's intoxicating. It smells just honestly, for me, probably my favourite scent in the wet shaving world. T uh, taken out of the fragrance world, just wet shaving alone, soaps and splashes. I think this even outdoes Fugia Gothique from Barrister of Man. And that's a massive statement from me. And that is, you probably already know, Seaforth Heather Artisan Shave Soap from Spearhead Shaving Company. Now, this was actually sent to me as a gift. I was sent a Spearhead Shaving Soap and reacted to it. It had, what was the wood that was in it? Yes. I can't even remember, but my, my head's sandalwood. So I had a reaction to it. The soap performed well, but I had a, a, a slight allergic reaction to it. Now this has got lavender, bergamot, geranium, clarisage, oak moss, and kumarin in here. There is no sandalwood. Sandalwood's a scent I've never liked anyway, but this here takes number one spot overall in my den for scent and performance as, a, as an all round package of a soap. It is just absolutely beautiful. It's like now I believe this is based on Brut for men, Brut Fabergé or whatever you want to call it. But there's something about it. Now I was told that part of the process involves I think it involves sugar and it gives off a sort of burnt sugar note, like a caramelised sugar. Now this to me smells like Brut mixed with a Werther's original suckable sweet, uh, whatever you want to call it, a, a sucky lolly or a, a travel lolly. I don't know what you call them in your country, but. Weather's original. It's got that sort of sweet sugary vibe to it and it is absolutely sensational. And my wife loves this as well, which for me is a is a bonus bonus. It's a win-win, you know. It is a winner winner chicken dinner. The splash smells very similar to the soap, not identical, but very, very similar. Oh, just uh, do you know something? I love the soap the soap scent, but the splash smells great as well. The splash doesn't have that super sweet burnt sort of caramelized sugar scent to it that the soap does because there's obviously no soap base in here but they've done very well to to get that scent in here now i think this was made by chatillon lux I, I believe the scent was created by chatillon lux the bottle is glass it's a white bottle it's, it's just the packaging the product the labels i love the fact although this is made in america it's got a little scottish guy in the kilt on here Seaforth is where my family, who moved to Canada 50 years ago, are based. I've got my auntie that's left here, that's all I've got left here. I've got some other family there, but they're not actual blood relatives. And that is where they're based in Seaforth in Ontario in Canada. I'm not, I'm not guessing that's where that name comes from, but that's, that's a lot of Seaforths. But that for me, is an overall package. If you haven't got it in your den, you're nuts. It is honestly... A fantastic scent. It isn't a barber shop type scent. It is brute style with a sweetness to it. The splash lasts a good length of time. I can put that splash on and still smell it sort of three or four hours later. It won't go like an, an eau de parfum or a, an eau de toilette, but it will last long enough that you can smell it after a few hours. I'm like 10 minutes in and I'm just talking shit, but that is what gin does. Cheers. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year. I don't know if I've done a Happy New Year video yet. No, I haven't. This is my Happy New Year video as well. I'll tell you what. So, 1829 gin. Cheers. It's fantastic. Oh, it's so smooth. It's absolutely incredibly smooth. And this one's quite citrusy. Just what oh, I'm talking about. If I can drink now, I'll tell you what. What a day. Right, where am I? Oh, it was also Manchester United, Liverpool last night. No, no, what a boring game. But we'll move on from that. It was crap. But we're still top of the league. And even if everyone wins all the games and they get in the same level of games, we'll still be top of the league by one point. So how, how good is that? Three points clear of Liverpool. Could have asked for any more in January. Right, I've done my soap, but Razor of the Year. This was quite a difficult one because, to be honest with you, I was it was almost the carve again. I almost pulled the carve out again, and I keep going back to this razor. I haven't used it for a while, given that I've got the home like tiger in the den, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But this razor was a gift. It, it has stayed in the den surprisingly because I didn't think these sort of things would. It shaves fantastically well. You already probably know what it is, and it is this. The Feather Artist Club. Made in Japan, which... Into, oh, come on. 
There we go. Is that going to focus on it? Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Made in Japan. Stainless steel. All of this is stainless steel. I've got a feather super professional blade in here which I haven't used for a little while. I haven't actually used this for months. But this for me is one of the smoothest shavers on the market. It's comfortable to use. It's got a great weight. I do want the wooden one. So I am going to be looking this year I think at some point to pick up the wooden one with the scotch wood handle. And this might even go away in a giveaway. It was given to me as a gift from Craig Stanway over at Face Fat Shaving Company or Face Fat Shaving Soap. So, oh, wait a minute. It's funny, you drink alcohol without anything in it. No fizzy drinks and you still get wind. As long as it's coming out of my mouth, you know. I'll, I'll let you know if I blow one out of the back. So, a beautiful razor that shaves very smoothly. I get great shaves from it. I haven't used it for a while. However, I will be pulling this back out over the next week or two as I hopefully start making a few more videos. And brushes. Brushes has been hard because I have offloaded so many brushes, it's unreal. I still have my turn and shave 30mm whip dog bore up for sale. I have, uh, what else is, is up there? It's uh, the Grizzly Bay and my Brush Guy brush. The Grizzly Bay, I'm more inclined to do a trade because it was gifted to me. It's just not getting used, it's nothing to do with the, the gentleman that sent it to me. I thank you very much. but. Anyone that sends me stuff should know by now that anything I don't use, I don't tend to keep because it's a waste that should be used by someone that wants to, to really appreciate it and use it. I'm that kind of person. If I appreciate something, I'll use it and use it over and over and over again. And it then takes over the, the place of many other things. So I'm down to six brushes in the den. I will go through that at some point. I will do a video on that. There is only six brushes that I go through now, three of which I have rhodium knots in them. You'll know what they are. And my top brush for last year as much as the handle is stunning. It's mainly this that takes the bait. And this is a rhodium knot. This is a 25mm two band silver tip made by Sirjan Danicic over here in the Australian Capital Territory of Australia. And the handle is a strike gold shave. As you can see there, now this is made by Matt Martin, who used to be Brush Guy Brush, or Brush Guy, or oh, still is Brush Guy in my eyes. He makes beautifully ergonomic handles with some of, in my opinion, some of the best pores in the wet shaving space. I think he does a fantastic job. His handles are very unique. They're not for everyone. They, they weren't for me until I started using them and I found out how good they were to actually hold and use. But number one, Rhodium Knot. From Surjan. I do love this handle. It's not my favourite handle, but it's the knot really that takes out top spot for me. Not just this one, all three of them. I do have a three band silver tip and another two band silver tip and they're all fantastic. So I'm just going to empty out the, I've got a little bit of water sat on the soap here, which is my Ariana Nevins Kaizen, which I'm going to be shaving with today. It has been used quite a lot since I received it from Marion the Barbarian. So here we go, let's load this brush up. One. I think that's five seconds, roughly. It might have been six or seven, but that's all I load from Marianne and Evans. Now someone did ask me recently, how much do you load? Because when I load this soap, I cannot break it. I can't get it to the point, I think, where it's actually at its peak. Now I can load this roughly, I think 7 seconds is about spot on for me with the Ariana and Evans Kaizen base. I think any more than 10 seconds and you're going to be adding water to it for a very, very long time in order to get the ladder that you're looking for. It just absolutely loves water. And it, it almost is a soap, one of the first soaps that I've used that I would reckon is almost unbreakable with adding water, it's like it just goes on and on and on and on, a bit like me. I can't wait to get my new glass. Norlan, it's the Norlan Rock, R-A-U-K. Norlan is N-O-R-L-A-N, and it's, it's a beautiful looking glass. It's quite expensive. They work out at, delivered to my door over here, they are $95. But it was a gift from my wife for Valentine's Day, which hasn't come yet, but it'll be coming soon. I've booked us up. I mean, look how thick that is. 
that's like a seven, that's less than 10 second load. You can see that the brush is chock a block. Honestly, it's like. Just dip the tips. You can see already, it's not even going opaque yet. It's not going translucent, it is still thick. Dip it again. Oh, there's a hair there somewhere. Where's it go? There it is. I do find every now and then I still lose a hair here and there from my rhodium knots, but they don't bother me, it doesn't bother me at all. I know if this knot just started dying on me, the sewer jam would make it right. He's a top bloke with excellent customer service. Unlike some companies, he gets back to you very, very quickly. I'm sure you can pick the companies that I'm talking about. I have managed to get in contact with Carve recently ish. Trying to get some idea of when the titanium razors might finally come out and how things are going, but sadly, it's quite difficult getting that sort of information at the moment. I don't really quite know what's going on over there. I have messaged back to, to his reply and haven't had anything back yet. It's, it's quite sad really because Carve, in my opinion, make the best safety razor in the world. I've used a lot of, I haven't used them all, okay, so please <laughs> understand. I haven't used every safety razor, but I've used a lot. I've used enough to know what works best for me. And the Carve safety razor, the Carve Christopher Bradley safety razor, works best for me. It's just as simple as that. And yes, it is based on a on a vintage Gillette, which has been modernised. Now the vintage Gillette will shave the exact same, but I don't like vintage razors. I have to have a modern razor. I just can't. I can't attach myself to a vintage razor. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Right, I'm making a mess now. So as you can see, the ladder, oh, there's another here, look, there's two here. Let's get rid of that. You can see the ladder has sort of slowly made its way through the knot. It doesn't look like there's much in there. But here we go. This stuff, it doesn't matter who you are, what water you've got, this stuff will lather. I've got shockingly hard water, water, here in Western Australia. This stuff lathers up an absolute treat every time. And like I say, I've done less than 10 second load here. I did soak the soap for probably the whole time that I was talking on the camera. That was it, which was a while, 10 minutes plus. So it was a bit softer. But you can see already that it needs loads of water already. I need to put way more in it. Just dripping water and now under the top of the knot. Peter Charcalis really has created a silk base in my opinion. It was very, very, very hard to surpass. There have been massive, massive improvements from most companies over the last three to four years. But for me, this silt, I mean, look how much it's creating. And it's, this isn't hard work, this, I tell you.
and just it's just phenomenal. It's on a total different level to every soap I've ever used. It has a different feel to most soaps as well. You'll have to apologise, I have to apologise for the length of this video because it is going to be mega long. But I can't help myself. When you're in this mood, you're in this mood. Set the brush to the side and we can talk about the gin. I made the razor, but the gin's fantastic. The razor, now you've seen this on several channels now. This is the Home Like Tiger. Now you see on here, there is three dots on this side, three black dots. You have to line them up the right way now. I'm gonna show you straight off the bat before I get into this razor. I can show you at the end, but I'm not going to because this video will be far too long. I'm gonna show you why. There's one reason, well sort of two, but one main reason that annoys me about this razor. So you have the razor, it is a sort of multi-piece razor. Now, one thing I do like about it, I like this part. You unscrew the base. Like that. And that comes out. I like that. That's something that I enjoy. I enjoy things that come apart. I like to put things together. There's something, uh, it takes me back to my childhood, dismantling cars and shit when I was a little kid. And putting them all but trying to put them back together again. This has got a very, uh, I can't really put my finger on it. It's got something about it that really reaches inside me that I really enjoy about it. I like the fact that you can take that bottom bit out. Now, obviously, you run the risk of dropping it and things, but solid stainless. You take the top cap off, it's quite long. I've got a blade in here, I've got a brand new feather blade in here, which I haven't used a feather in quite a long time, so I'm just going to set that to the side gently. Now here is where my issue lies with this. If you have used a uh, Rex Ambassador, you'll know or you'll notice that there are sort of like little notches in the sides here. I wondered why they were there, and I understand now because of the similar razors. What happens with this razor is now I'm going to take this dial here and turn it to open. See it turning? Looks straight away. Boom, it's turning straight away. See the gap getting wider? Yeah. That turns. The reason the Rex has these little end things on the side is to stop it turning of its own accord. It is very frustrating to clean. Of course, look, see, I can just keep spinning that. It's very frustrating to clean. So you try to clean it and this starts spinning all over the place. It is it's annoying. And, I, and it, for me, it, it pisses me off trying to do it. Really, they should have put the extra effort in and made sure that these sides were sort of clamped in similar to the, the Rex Ambassador it would have made this razor far better two more things that I'll talk about now that sort of they don't bother me like they bother other people the grip isn't fantastic it is nice, it looks pretty it looks very very nice, it's very well finished and polished this razor it doesn't look industrial, it looks very finessed this isn't very grippy at all when wet it's shockingly not very grippy and the other thing, the final thing I'm just going to mention now, is this dial is very loose. So it's not, it's, I mean you can, I can turn that with quite ease. Now if you've watched me shave long enough, you'll know that I generally tend to choke up on the razor. I like to hold it like that and sit my pinky finger on the bottom. With this razor, I have to hold, don't have to, but I tend to hold it like that. So that it's, it just works better for me. But let's put it all back together, get the shave underway. Now, the other thing I'm going to talk about is the aggression on this razor. Now, I've been using this razor now for uh, probably just about a week, roughly. Not for a perfect week, but pretty close to a week. Now, in the aggressive settings up to six, I find it too much for me, far too much. Even on three, it's too much for me, but it's still extremely smooth on those settings. 
Today's shave, I've got a day and a bit's growth. I'm just going to use setting one. That's all I'm going to use. That's what the, the setting I enjoy. I like it mild. But what I found with this razor, which I quite like, is it starts off at one. Hopefully you can see that. And then you turn it and it goes all the way back round. You'll see the one again and all the way back round. And it stops at two. Just after two. So it goes up to 13, essentially. You get 13 settings in this razor. So that for me is, I mean, look at that gap. That is scary. I will use that on this gap at some point, just to show you. But today, I've had a few drinks, so I'm going to knock it back down to setting one. It lines up perfectly. There is no messing about with it. It lines up at number one perfectly. It's a stunning looking razor. It's head heavy. This handle's quite light. It's not, it's not a super heavy razor. The tabs are completely covered off at the top, which is fantastic. That's a massive bonus for me. And let's just see how it feels with a feather blade. The water has gone cold, so I'm going to replace that with some warm water. I don't know why I'm favouring warm water at the moment, but I am. Keep that. And here we go. As you can see, that ladder has sat there the whole time I've talked to you. And let's see how it goes. So you can see how I've got to hold this. I don't have to hold it like that, but that is how I hold it. It is a very, very smooth shave. In terms of smoothness, it's with the calf. I have to put it in that bracket, that territory. One thing I don't like about it, under the nose and down the sides of the nose, for some reason it feels a little bit, it's almost like the blade's quite, I don't know, but I've, I have nicked my nose here, which is very unusual. I have done it with this razor. Fantastic, you can see that the ladder is just melting away. I'm definitely a lover of mild razors. I'm not interested in super aggressive razors anymore. Absolutely excellent. The soap. It's absolutely tremendous. I see the colour and the camera keeps ducking away and coming back again. So that look. It's because the door shut behind me. All this white background seems to the camera just struggles to stay focused. And I still haven't figured out how to really work my camera, so apologies. Right, here we go, with this stunning lather again. Do you know what? I'm just going to get my fingers in and just... No, oh, yeah. So slick. The scent strength on it is good as well. If you do like sort of medicinal citrus, this is you, say. It's not something most people like. Do you know anyone? Yeah. Now, if my accent has come out and you've got no idea what I'm saying, I do apologise. There's only so much I can do, you know. I'm trying. How good is this stuff? You know, Peter Chakalas has got his haters, as every company seems to have. But this guy really is passionate. He wants to succeed so much so that he's given up his daytime job or his full-time job that he used to have and gone full-time in this business and I give that man so much credit for that because doing it your own business in the first place is hard work but in something with so much competition, which this does have these days, wet shaving has got a lot of competition in the traditional wet shaving space. Here we go, cross the green. It takes a lot of balls. But when you've got products like this, it's worth it. And he's such 
a nice guy just to deal with. If you want to message him, he'll always make time for you. You don't have to be anyone on YouTube or anyone special. You just have to be someone that's interested in his product and he will go to the ends of the earth to tell you about his products and how passionate he is and he'll tell you how, how things are and he'll tell you every ingredient he uses, why he uses it, how, what it does. He's so, so much knowledge and, and information to share. Tell you what, this feather blade feels exceptionally smooth in this raisin. I do have a cold sore here. I've been to the osteo today to have my neck and back cracked and have a few things stretched out and looked at and everything is in such good order that even he said I don't need to see you for a long long time if ever and that for me is always testament to how good a company is or how good an individual is in the, the health world you know physios and chiros and osteos and all that sort of stuff when they tell you that they don't need to see you anymore even after I've only seen five sessions with him to turn around and say I don't need to see you anymore it says a lot of character for me but they're not interested in your money they want to actually help you or maybe I'm just an idiot I don't know I think I might have opened up a little thing here. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but possibly. I'm just going to turn this light on. Hopefully, it might actually help a little bit. I don't, I'm not sure. It most likely won't. The sun is sort of moving away now, so let's just see if it helps with the light. What are we on now? Oh, only 32 minutes. <laughs> I know some people have watched all of this, you know, because fucking mental. Fan dabby dozy. Here we go. Uh, do you know something? I don't think I have caught myself here. Which is surprising after the amount of gin that I drank using a feather blade. I know it's what it smelled as setting the razor. Does that give testament to how good the soap is? Most likely. And these Rhodia knots are really, really exceptional. I know Marion the Barbarian has one now and a handle which I absolutely love to the point oh, to the point that I actually ordered one of Surjan's next knots, next brushes. They are not cheap. I think they're gonna be it's gonna cost me around 400 Australian dollars, I think. It'll be worth every penny. I'm saying that while I'm pissed at the moment, so here we go. Right, this part here, this razor, I don't know what it is about the razor, something about the angle of the blade or whatever it was. It gets me a closer shave here than any other razor I've used, even the calf. There we go. 
And here we go, up against the grain with the feather blade. Silky smooth. Yes, there are a few little weepers, tiny weepers, but they're not an issue, I can assure you, they're just... as superficial the word I'm looking for. Ah, it's a brilliant shave. Now, I've had quite a lot to drink today. I probably had the equivalent of like 10 or 12 standard drinks, maybe more, full 14 standard drinks. I have these in a bottle. But yeah, I've drank easily half a bottle of gin. I know I've not had more than three glasses of gin, but they're big, big shots. And to have such minimal blood loss and still be conscious, I think it's a massive bonus really. Let's clean this brush out. It's the only downside to rhodium knots, they are very dense, they do hold the ladder so they do take a little bit more water and a little bit more time to actually get cleaned out. But make sure you get all that ladder out or as much as you can because the ladder, if you leave it in there, can eventually start eating into your glue or your, your knot itself and cause some issues with shedding. I, on the other hand, have issues with shedding without doing that, so I don't have to worry about it really anyway. I just do what I do and it sheds anyway. Not, not these knots anyway. They do a little bit, I lose a hair here and there, but nothing major. Got a few weepers here. That is what the feather blade does. When you give them a just a quick wipe, I think that looks pretty good. Right, hang on a minute. Squeaky door. <laughs> I would have turned the camera off normally, but you know when you buy the few drinks, you couldn't give rats at us. Know what I mean? Do you know the more the ice melt, the better it becomes. Right, I'm just going to wet my hands and finish off with Codex Beauty Skin Superfood, which, once again, as much as I liked the Australian Private Reserve Serum, this for me is the number one skin food, the number one moisturiser, the number one close shave. You name it, hands, feet, arms, face, neck, head, whatever you want to moisturise. The Skin Superfruit from Codex is exceptional stuff. Doesn't have much scent. It will not alter any fragrances that you put on afterwards. This scent will, from this cream, will be gone generally within five minutes of putting it on. It absorbs almost instantly. It's great on your lips as well if you've got dry lips. It really helps with dry lips. It's just a fantastic product. And that Ladies and gentlemen, it's me done and dusted. So today's shave featured my top soap base, which is Ariana and Evans Kaizen from Peter Charcalis over in America. I, I really would love to grab some more of his stuff as I sort of get back into work and start earning a bit again and, and doing a bit better. The likelihood is that I will start adding more of Peter's products to my den, to my shaving routine. The brush for today 
was my 25mm rhodium knot silver tip, two band silver tip, hand tied in Australia from Sir Jan Danicic and in my straight gold shave handle which was made by Matt Martin of Brush Guy. Fantastic handle, an even better knot, the knot is exceptional, it really is. If you do send a handle to Sir Jan as well, if there's any marks on those handles, let him know and it might charge a small fee but his polishing skills are exceptional, he will make your handle look flawlessly perfect and you'll be more than more, you'll be happier than when you sent him the handle when you get it back because it'll be better than it was when it was sent if there are marks on it, just a heads up. The razor was the home like shaving tiger, I'm sure it's tiger, I'm not, I don't think it's tiger, I think it's tiger but don't quote me on that and if I've got it wrong I do apologise, I should have really looked it up myself. It does have a picture of a bear on the, on the box, which I think is a bit weird because it's tiger. It sounds like tiger, but I don't think it is a tiger. But it is a good razor. It is smooth. On setting one, it gives me very similar shaves to the carve. The feather blade has given me a few weepers, but if I use, say for instance, I use one of these, I get very, very minimal irritation and hardly any weepers ever. But that's on setting one. And I will use this razor on different settings and give you guys an idea of how it works. But it's a good razor, it's well built, it's well finished, it looks good, the dial's a little bit, it's not super tight, it's tight enough and there's just a couple of, that, that issue with it spinning when you're trying to clean it and things at the end it is a bit of a pain in the ass I have to say, but overall it's a great razor that looks good and shaves very very smoothly and very very efficiently for what it is, you don't get any blade feel really on all the first six settings and it still feels fantastic on the shave. And that is me pretty much done and dusted. Finished off with Codex Beauty Skin Superfood and I will just pull up, you've already seen the Woolies blades but here is my pretty much my number one in the den no matter what. Scent and performance, Seaforth Heather from Spearhead Shaving Company. Fantastic scent from a great company who makes some beautiful labels but that scent, soap base and splash is off the charts. And with that I'll just leave you with a view of my number one razor, the Artist Club from Feather. Number one razor of 2020. It's not my number one razor, but it's my number num one razor of 2020. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Slant. Stay safe. Drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.